Hey everyone, Wyatt's mom here. Today I'm going to show you six super easy and free or super cheap activities you can do with your baby or toddler. I had everything on hand, but you can find it all at the dollar store. Um, these only take a few minutes to make and they'll keep your baby entertained for so long. They're great for building fine motor skills, sensory exploration, and just having fun. Um, so let's get started. First up, we're going to make a pom-pom whisk. All you need is a regular whisk from your kitchen and pom-poms. Then you just stuff your pom-poms in the whisk. So now let's see how my toddler likes it. Her name is Tatum and she's 16 months old. So she's going to have to try to pull out the pom-poms, which is great for fine motor development. And developing these muscles in the hands and fingers will be super useful later on to help her with writing, zipping up jackets, using utensils, and a lot more. So she really liked this one. This was her favorite activity. You can see she also rubs them on her face to feel how soft they are. And this is a great sensory experience. Okay, next we are going to make a popsicle stick push and pull, so you just need an egg carton like this and some popsicle sticks as well as a knife. So all you're going to do is cut some slits in your egg carton just like this. Then insert your popsicle sticks. For an older toddler you could leave them out so that they could put them all in but since Tatum is younger I'm going to put them in so that um, it'll help her realize that once she pulls them out, she could try putting them back in. So here she is checking it out. I also use different colored sticks so that we could talk about colors as well. And she had a lot of fun with it. Alright, so for number three, you just need some tape, any tape you want, aluminum foil, and that's it. So just lay out your sheet of aluminum foil. Tape it down to the floor for a fun crawling or walking texture activity. It makes fun noise. Tatum ended up enjoying taking it off the floor, which is also really good for fine motor skills, which is why I put some tape out too for her to peel off. So she liked making noise with the foil like this. Okay, so for the next activity, all you'll need is some pipe cleaners and a colander. So all you're going to do is insert your pipe cleaners any way that you want. It would be fun to have colorful ones too, but I just used what I had. And I set it out and Tatum was right away super excited to check it out. I just love watching them and seeing what they think of new things like this, so. Really cool, and she could also insert them back in the holes too. When she's a little bit older, I think she'll get the hang of that. Number four, all right, you just need some scarves like this. We already had these from something else, but you could cut one up that you have, and then you can do it different ways. One way is with a tissue box. I'm using this little cover, but you can use a regular one, and then any kind of toy that you can stuff stuff inside. An O-ball would work great, but I didn't know where ours was, so I just used this Manhattan Toys teether, and you just wanna stuff the scarves inside. Same with the tissue box here. Your baby will be pulling the scarves out, working those finger muscles. And what's really cool about these activities is this teether has been around the house forever now and she never played with it. But now just by switching it up like this, she had so much fun. So I love that about these activities. Number five is a washi tape egg rescue. And all you need for this are some eggs. I had some left over from Easter, some treats or snacks, and some washi tape. So you are just going to stick the snacks inside of your plastic eggs, and then tape them to the wall with the washi tape. You could also put them on the floor. I decided to do them lower on the wall because Tatum's a new walker, and so that will encourage her to squat down and work those thigh muscles 
to get nice and strong and sturdy while walking, but when she gets older, I'll do them a little higher to encourage her to use her tippy toes and reach up high to activate other muscles. So it really doesn't matter where you put them, wherever you think would be good for your toddler. And then you can show them how to open the eggs and get their prizes, and it's super fun. This kept her really busy. 